Hello, in this video we are going to cover list groups. So a list group is just a really cool way of organizing data together. So to implement a list group, you put an unordered list. And this needs a class of list-group. And then here you have list items. And they require a class of list dash group dash item. And then you put, you know, what text you're going to put. I'm going to put some of my favorite superheroes. And I'll put a total of five. You can put as many as you want. And I'll put a Yoda, Superman, Anakin Skywalker, and Green Lantern. Yeah, so if I save that, refresh, there we go. That's it. That's literally all there is to it. And this is responsive as well. And obviously, it, you know, spans the full 12 columns because it's in a cold 12. If it was in like a cold 6, for example, it'd be half. Oh, the, what is it, Bigsby on... On a Samsung phone, that for some reason that got triggered there when I said something about Cold 12. Okay, and uh, so yeah, that's basically you know, what it is. So there's you know a bunch of other different features, and another one. So we'll implement one more of these. So if we we'll copy this, you can you know make some of them active and some of them disabled. So let's say if I was to make this one active, just put the class active. So if I made the last one disabled, you just put the class disabled, reload, that is active now. It just means that it's active. It doesn't actually have any backend functionality. You can implement that yourself. That's backend code, which is not directly linked to Bootstrap. Bootstrap just shows you the visual elements, but this is cool. Imagine if these were clickable and the last feature that I'm gonna show you is how to make them you know, clickable in terms of an ahref then maybe you could select one or even more and this is disabled okay so if we want to i'll copy the original one so if i want to put a make one of them a link or multiple links you just do this for the you know the other as well so what you do is change this from a list item to a a h ref and I'm gonna put a hash just so it doesn't go anywhere, but you can make it go to a separate page on your website or a separate website entirely. One last class that you need, list-group-item-action. And let's change this to an anchor tag, reload. And as you can see, that is, it has some sort of active hoverable state. And obviously we can click it, doesn't do anything at the moment, but, you can make it do whatever you want. If you don't have this in here, this is what it looks like. You may want it like this. You put some sort of nothing with a tilde in there. Reload, it looks like a general link. Whereas with this, it removes the native link styling and implements Bootstrap's own styling. So that's it, that's really it for list groups. There's more you know things that you can do like you can flush it you can do horizontal layouts you can have contextual classes which is to simply color in and it's just these classes here it's the same sort of system your primary secondary success danger warning info light and dark which were you know familiar with and you can add badges in there you can i've got a separate video covering badges as well so feel free to check that out uh, the JavaScript functionality, there's fading, and there's a way to detect, you know, when events have been triggered on it, and by pure vanilla JavaScript. So feel free to check this out. I will provide a link to this in the description. So, and as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Bootstrap video.